Hi guys, today we're going to be taking a quick look at how you can edit the outcomes from generative design studies. I'm going to give you a few tips about how to make the editing process a bit easier, focusing on thickening features. Once you export a result from generative design, the surfaces are available to edit in the sculpt environment. It's worth dragging the timeline back to simplify this a bit, so we're going to quickly do that and then edit the form. This will help if any edits interfere later on. If you're like me, and you're used to mechanical modelling, the number of tools in the sculpt environment can look a bit overwhelming. Don't worry, there are only a few tools that will cover most edits you'll want to make to generative results. The most common way of editing T-splines is to simply pick points, lines, or faces on the part, and move them around using the edit form control. To make your life even easier, edit form has the ability to select features. This works particularly well when you're wanting to thicken geometry. As you can see here, I have selected this central support beam using the feature selection. I want to make it thicker by a factor of 1.25 in the XY plane, so I utilize the numerical control and input the desired value. Sometimes you will get features that are not recognizable. However, there is a workaround. If you unweld the feature, a new body will be formed. To make this easier, double clicking an edge will give you a loop selection. You can then use the thicken command to create a second larger body. Make sure you use the no edge setting so that the larger model is its own body and I use the normal direction to thicken uniformly. From there, you can delete the inner shell and weld the vertices back together. In the weld vertices mode, you'll probably see the display mode change from smooth to box display. This is done to help highlight the areas that may not be joined and is useful when checking your designs. You can also see that, by welding the vertices at the top and bottom of the feature, we have a single body again. If you want to change your view manually, simply select the body and enter the display mode dialog within utilities. This will change the view of the entire design and can be just as easily reversed to show the smooth model again. Hopefully this video will help you to reduce your editing time in the sculpt environment. Remember to give this video a like if you thought it was helpful, and make sure you subscribe to see more quick tips.